Hey keto bakers, do you like coconut cream? Do you like cake? Do you like poking things? Well today on All Day I Dream About Food, we're making keto coconut cream poke cake. Now before we get started on this delicious recipe, I want to tell you about a brand I have recently discovered and that I love and that is sponsoring this video. Cozy Earth makes highly sustainable bamboo bedding, bath towels, and loungewear. And I actually discovered them on my own before Christmas when we needed some new towels and bath mats. So I got these gorgeous large bath sheets. They are so soft. Well, they reached out to me and asked if they could sponsor a video, and since I already knew and loved the brand, I was more than happy to partner with them. Now, you can't tell because I'm standing behind my counter, but I am actually wearing a pair of their super soft bamboo joggers. <laughs> they are so comfy. I could wear these all the time. And you have to check out their bedding. Oh my goodness. First of all, it comes in this gorgeous reusable bag zippered even and this stuff is like silk you guys honestly it is so smooth so soft and luxurious these products are made with super soft viscous from bamboo and it's actually naturally moisture wicking and it helps you regulate your body temperature at night so you can stay comfortable all night long their wonderful products have been on oprah's favorite things list for five years running and i know why Cozy Earth is offering my subscriber 30% off with code FOOD35. Make sure you use the URL in the video description and go check out these wonderful bed and bath linens and loungewear. Now the first thing we're gonna do is separate some eggs. In this recipe, I use egg white for the cake and egg yolk for the coconut cream pudding. So we're gonna separate our eggs and just set the yolks aside for right now. It doesn't matter if you get a little yolk into the whites because you're not beating them. You don't have to worry about that this time. So next we can start working on our dry ingredients. I have two and a half cups of almond flour and half a cup of shredded coconut, unsweetened. Then I'm adding two thirds cup of sweetener. I'm using Swerve Granular. One third cup of whey protein powder. You can use egg white protein powder instead. Two and a half teaspoons of baking powder and about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we'll whisk those together and break up any clumps. Now we can add our egg whites. And the reason I only use egg whites in this is to keep the cake a little lighter in color, more like coconut cake. So I have four egg whites and I'm adding a third cup of oil. You can use coconut oil. I've got avocado oil here. You can use melted butter as well. And I've got a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, and once you've got that all mixed together, you're gonna notice that your batter is quite thick. So you're going to add some additional liquid. You could use water. I'm going to just use some unsweetened macadamia milk that I have. And you're looking between a third of a cup to two thirds of a cup. You just want the batter to be spreadable, but not completely pourable. It should be rather thick. Okay, the batter's looking nice right now. You can see it's scoopable, but it's pretty thick still. So now we're going to take a nine by nine inch metal baking pan and grease it nicely. And then you're gonna spread your batter in it. You can also do an eight by eight pan, but your cake will take a little longer to bake because the batter will be deeper. So just spread your batter evenly in the pan and you're going to bake it at 325 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Keep your eye on it. And when it's just firm to the touch on top, it's ready to come out. Okay guys, the cake is out of the oven and you can see it cooling behind me on the stove. And now we're going to make our coconut cream filling. So I have set a medium saucepan over medium heat and I'm adding one cup of coconut cream. This is just the thick white part off of a can of coconut milk. And we just wanna let it melt over the medium heat until it's completely liquefied. And we're going to add a quarter cup of sweetener. I have the Swerve Allulose blend here. And we just wanna bring those to a simmer. Now remember our egg yolks from before? Well, I've got three of them in here for the coconut cream. So once your coconut cream is simmering, you are going to slowly pour a little bit of that into your egg yolks. This is called tempering the egg yolks. So you're really gonna be adding about one cup of the hot coconut cream very slowly drizzling it in as you whisk. This brings the egg yolks up to temperature before you add them back into your hot cream. 
Now you're going to take those nicely tempered egg yolks and you're going to slowly drizzle them back into the rest of the cream in the hot pan. And now I'm going to add a little bit of coconut extract. I'm gonna use about half a teaspoon and you can add some vanilla in there as well. About another half teaspoon. And you're going to continue to cook the mixture until it begins to thicken, about three to four minutes. Make sure you stay nearby and you keep whisking because you don't want your egg yolks to curdle. And once your mixture is starting to thicken, you wanna get it off the heat and let it cool for a few minutes. It will continue to thicken up as it cools. Now comes the fun part. We get to take our cake and poke some holes in it. I like to use the end of a wooden spoon because it makes holes big enough for the coconut cream filling to go down into the holes. So, if you're feeling a little stabby, have some fun. You wanna make holes all over the cake, as many as you can, and sometimes the cake sticks to it. Hmm. Make sure you get those holes all over the cake so that every piece of cake gets some nice coconut filling. So now, pour the coconut filling evenly, as evenly as we can. You wanna get some into every hole, so take your time with this. You can sort of spread it over so it's getting down in those holes and shake your pan a little and then keep pouring it over. Then you can just spread any coconut filling that's not going into the holes all over the top of the cake. And again, give the pan a few little taps on the counter so that the holes get filled as much as possible. Now we need to let this set for a little while. So get it into the fridge for about two hours. So I have one cup of heavy whipping cream here, a couple of tablespoons of powdered swerve, but you can really use any sweetener you like. So one, two, I might, I think I'm gonna do a third tablespoon of that, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we're just gonna whip our cream until it holds stiff peaks. Once you've got your whipped cream to stiff peaks, you're ready to finish your cake. And if it's not too tacky or too liquid, you're ready to go. So I'm gonna take my whipped cream topping and just put it on top and spread it nicely all over the cake. Now, if you wanted to, you could toast the coconut first, but I'm just gonna go for it as is right now. I'm using about a quarter cup, unsweetened. And with that, my friends, our coconut cream poke cake is ready. So we're gonna cut in and try a slice. Oh, it's super soft. I think this one's gonna be really good. Ooh, this is my favorite part of cutting it. Okay, look at that. Look at that fluffy, delicious cake. I am so excited about this one, you guys. Oh, so let's take a bite. Ooh, squeaky. It's the happy cake dance. Oh boy, is that good. This is the dessert for coconut cream lovers. For more delicious, light and fluffy keto cakes, check out alldayidreamaboutfood.com.